Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to play the Suitcase DLC. It finally was released on Steam today, and it includes many new things for the game. New events, new music, new items, uh, and a lot of improvements to the game, and I'm really excited to see this, and we're going to just play a regular game. Uh, Wheatley is with me, but he's just hiding behind my neck. Why not? And we're gonna start a new game in the apocalypse mode. And as you can see already, uh, there is a little explanation what each mode, mode means, because before you figured it out by just playing it over and over again, but in this case, um, each mode differs in these eight things. And apparently there is a packed suitcase. Uh, this case uh, in the Phantom difficulty is a work briefcase. Interesting. And a stock shelter, some junk. Really? There's there's already some stuff in the shelter? I have no idea. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and play in the Fatman difficulty, the regular one, and we're just gonna begin our adventure by scavenging through the house as usual, and I will try my best to, uh, well, grab as many useful items as I can. And the screen stays black for quite some time. I hope it loads up. Hello. Game? Ah, there we go. Okay, didn't load the first time. Had to reload the game. Um, ooh, I see a new item. The padlock. I was told I, I I read about this. The padlock, and there's a suitcase. I'm totally going to take a suitcase. It's the called the suitcase DLC. Who am I kidding? Yes, and I'll take the padlock. Oh, that's not the padlock. Okay, so the suitcase takes three slots. That's interesting. And other than that, the house pretty much seems the same. Let's let's grab our daughter and now the padlock. I wonder what we can do with this. Maybe it is an item to close off the shelter for from bandits, maybe? I have no idea. Uh, let's grab a few things here. And I feel he grabs things a little bit faster between items, which is interesting, but that might just be my personal uh, opinion. I don't know if that is actually true. I'm a little bit excited to see the new events. Yeah, I grab that. I actually did not even care what I grabbed. I'm just grabbing items and I have 15 seconds left on the clock. I know my face is in front of it. I forget to move it. And give me that. Yeah, I grab items way faster now. This is very good. Very good. Makes things a little bit easier for me. I want to grab this. Okay. Uh, I think... Oh no, I forgot the rifle. No rifle. No, but we got plenty of food, plenty of water. So, that's great. And now we're gonna figure out, well, what different events are gonna happen. Oh yeah, the music is already different. Already quite different. Love it. <laughs> Alright, so we got a padlock here, as you can see, and we have the suitcase. The suitcase apparently can be used for scavenging, at least that is what I gathered from the uh, countdown. And we're gonna go ahead and read. All of us made into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. Remember, hearing canned soup is helpful for you. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. We got a rifle, the one that I forgot to grab upstairs. We got another one that was down here. Success. Good thing we didn't unpack our holiday luggage. You're gonna take ammunition on your holiday? Fine. Our shelves are full of cans, plenty of water, best stock shelter. Actually, this is a really good stock shelter. Just look at this. I pretty much got all the items as far as I'm concerned. Um, couldn't be much better. I could have a little bit more water, I guess. And uh, I don't have a radio. The only thing I don't have and probably one of the most important items is the radio. Never mind about a great stock shelter. No, no radio. All right, day one. And music changes around quite a bit. That's really cool. I, I really didn't mind the music before. It was repetitive, yes, but it was good music, and this is nice. This is not the menu music, so this is good. Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality. To me, is in the best behavior. Life is hard for us all right now. Yes, I bet it is. Ted is not complaining. Okay, good. Um, I think we're gonna prepare an expedition right away. I'm gonna send Timmy out with hopefully a suitcase. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. Well, we can sleep. Let's uh, let's let's use those pills to sleep. Otherwise, we might go crazy. Oh, actually, yeah, it made a sound. Cool. Well, they added sounds to that as well. Our first AQ was well stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought we would use them, but in these conditions, it's the right thing to do. Also, it was a nice change from our usual diet of tomato soup. I agree. Ugh. Ugh. Just uh, eating eating pills for breakfast. Mm. Or 
supper. Uh, some water for Timmy would be nice. Yes, 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 yes. I think we're fine. Uh, we're gonna send Timmy out. Ooh, what to take outside? Interesting. Oh, you can't take, I mean, oh, would you look at that? A new mechanic. That is awesome. That is actually quite amazing. Um, this is a good day to go outside. Stretch a bit, get some fresh air, toxic air. Uh, you can apparently have up to four, you can have, bring up to four things with you. I assume those improve your chances. Huh. Can I also select several people? No, I can only select one person. So, I will definitely give him the suitcase because then we can haul more things, I guess. Then again, we don't need that many things. And, yeah, what would we want to risk? Um, hmm, the padlock. I can bring... I will take the padlock. Why not? Let's 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 take a suitcase and a padlock and go scavenge Timmy. That sounds like a good plan. All right, let's see what he will bring back. But for now, we're gonna yeah. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what he'll do if he what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Equipment, a suitcase, and a padlock. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, it's day four. It doesn't mean they need anything yet. And we had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other while his companion was pretending to ride said horse. Horse. They claim to be on a very important quest. And my phone's alarm is going off. Thank you. They claim to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup. Only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. Of course, we're gonna give... Uh, Monty Python a look at our map. Why wouldn't we? They might run off with it. No, seems, seems fine. Seems fine. All is good. All right, let's see. They seem fairly friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. We got a checkers board. Nice. Um, Mary Jane keeps fainting. We need to find her something to drink. Yes, today is the day that you get water. You've been, you've been sustaining yourselves quite well. The trash is becoming full of empty soup cans. It was... We didn't eat anything yet, but hey. Full, full soup cans. Whatever you say. Um... Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? Maybe. Let's use the Boy Scout book. Luckily, we have that, so we can deal with those roaches. But that was already a fun event. I do like these... Like these random events. That was close, a nest of those glowing bugs. And the music is back. Uh, might have been more than enough to drive us out into the wasteland. Okay, Mary Jane is fine. She doesn't need anything. Ted is hungry. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna give them all soup to bring them all on the same schedule. It's... Tough surviving in these conditions. Let's hope that this will be over soon, or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. You would probably end up dead in your own shelter. Timmy's back. Hey, Timmy. What do you bring? Oh, you're sick, and you lost a suitcase. Oh, we we're trying our best to remain calm in the situation we're in a safe, far from normal. Uh, we were afraid for Timmy, but he came back and is safe with us now. Plus one padlock. Unfortunately, the search was futile. We gained nothing from this excursion. Damn it, we really like that suitcase. Well, it's gone now. Oh, I just realized I should have designated a gas mask for him. Now you have to do that manually. Before the suitcase DLC, your character would always take the gas mask with you, which is actually really awesome that you can designate that because I had many events where I took the gas mask with me and the next day was an event. Man, I needed a gas mask for that. So, well, we lost the suitcase. That's okay. Timmy should eat, isn't feeling well, is really tired. Timmy? Yeah, you lost a suitcase. You're not you're not getting anything. Are you now? I, I can't heal you. You're just sick and it's gonna make problems. So just gonna Sorry, Timmy. It's not happening. It's not happening. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Yes, we should. We're gonna send Mary Jane outside, this time with a gas mask. We could have sworn that huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier, and there goes another one. Oh, damn it. Ah, it's a flood. Of course, floods are still here and are still a big issue. Let's grab the map. And I think that's the only thing that needed saving. So, we're good. Before any of the streams squirting from the walls could hit our map, we tore it down. Yes, very good. Timmy's very hungry, but he should drink. Yeah, I know. Okay, water, water. I'm not gonna give Timmy anything, but I'm going to send Mary Jane out, and I'm going to give her a gas mask. Can I give her more? Oh, oh, interesting. I get it now. If you give him the suitcase, you can give him free extra items to take with them for whatever reason. Um, they might be helpful on the quest outside. That's actually quite interesting. 
Hmm. Well, we're going to take the gas mask and we're going to send Mary Jane, our only daughter, out. And it's day nine. Timmy, you just gotta stay strong. I'm not gonna give you anything. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. No. No, we don't. We don't. I mean, here's the thing. I do have the ammunition, so there might be the event that we can heal him. <sighs> All right. All right, Timmy, I'm gonna give you water. I'm gonna give you water and food. Here you go. Here you go. You're in terrible shape. I know, I know, I know. Uh, a group of doctors knocked on our door today, requesting some supplies that would be helpful in refilling their first aid kits. We didn't doubt they were the real deal for a second. They'd have lab coats and everything. Shall we help them? Sure! Sure, let's be gullible! Let's be gullible and check out this event. I wanna see what happens. And... Well, a bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful anyway. Okay, I didn't get anything. Maybe there's an off chance that you will get a med kit back. Timmy should eat something. Doris will not survive with water. Water. Okay, so water for... I'm gonna give everyone water just to bring them on a schedule. I'm gonna give Tim Timmy soup. I know, not the best play. Ah, and we do not have the radio. Let's hope Mary Jane brings it back and plenty of food and plenty of other things. That would be great right now. That guy icon is making me nervous. There's one thing we need to do, it's use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcasts. I agree, but we don't have one. Timmy should eat! Everything seems to be okay with Dolores. Nothing going on with Ted. I'm gonna give him one more food, one more soup, and that should be fine for him. We try to keep track of dates, but they just don't add up. Timmy remembered it's his birthday today. We should, we should get him a present, yeah. Let's give him the Boy Scout book that always fares well with little Timmy. And it will prepare him for worse days to come. Okay, he really looks, he looks like a zombie, wow. Mm. We don't know if Timmy's ever going to be a Boy Scout after the apocalypse, or if he's going to survive another day. But the Scout Handbook is a deadly spider-killing weapon in his capable hands. He's having fun. Timmy's very hungry, Timmy has rested, Dolores has not eaten for a while, and Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, here's some food for you guys. Timmy should be fine. The waste in is full of surprises, like this man on the other side of the door knocking and claiming he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Here's the thing, he might give us water, but I want the ammunition to, uh, well, clean the stench of us. Oh, poor Timmy. To clean the stench of us, and also it will heal us. The ammunition has this weird magical ability. I still hope it does. Oh! That man was desperate! When we refused to hand over our ammunition, he was able to throw a smoke bomb in the hatch. Before we could see anything, he was gone with our ammunition. Asshole! Yeah, he stopped. Great. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now we should get him some water. Lois has to drink, Ted should drink. Yeah, on day, day, day 50, we're gonna do that. Alright, we found some weird mushrooms growing on the walls. Food shortage is not a laughing matter, so maybe it would be a good idea to grab a mushroom bite or two. Um, we do have three cans of food, so I don't think we need it. Um, let's, let's say no. Say no to mushrooms. No to mushrooms. Let's not do that. Alright, it's day 14, and Mary Jane is back. What did you bring us? You bring ah, she brought us a radio, and actually the mask. We used to go to the waterfront before all of this happened. Yes, the waterfront. Uh, the captain's cabin was a mess, but we managed to dig through it and even find a fancy hat and a working radio. Why didn't you bring the hat, Mary Jane? The hat. All right, we got a radio. Timmy's very hungry. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Um, okay, let's give him food and water tomorrow. Ah, oh, we're gonna run out of this very soon. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow and it seems ringing right now. Um, we should send someone to answer it. Hey, Timmy, you wanna go out? You're already sick anyway, so... You already got radiation poisoning, might as well answer the phone, and maybe it's a good event. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Good. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Mary Jane is hungry. Um, Mary Jane needs water. Okay, everyone needs water and Timmy needs... Really? Timmy needs food again? All right, here's food and water for everyone. Yep, that's that's the last water we have. Let's uh, prepare an expedition for tomorrow. And remember that time when Mary Jane went out to scavenge supplies? When she got back, she had a wound on her forearm. Nothing serious, she claimed, but it looked like something had bitten her. No, we're not going to chop off her leg or try to brandish the wound. 
because I don't want to lose the axe. She's sick, that's okay. I couldn't have sent her out to scavenge right now anyway. And I still hope for that event with the ammunition. That's really uh, not smart to bet on because it's a very unusual event, but who knows? Stranger things have happened. Mary Jane will be fine. It's not the first time that she got sick, right? All right, no, no supplies. I'm gonna send mother out with a gas mask. There you go. I can't give her anything else. With the suitcase, you can apparently give them all kinds of good stuff. I assume the more you give them, the better the raid, uh, the scavenge goes. Uh, nothing to do to report, nothing going on. Okay, we're all happy. Nothing needs to be done and we can listen to the radio, hopefully catching a good broadcast. Ooh, that's a new sound. I think we heard the music or so. We made contact, the military is out there and they're coming for us. Yay, all we need to do now is wait patiently. Let's do that. Mary Jane's diet could use food. Really, you're still hungry, Mary Jane? So fine, here, have some food. Uh, let's listen to the radio again. I hope we're gonna get an event for chopping down trees or what else have we got? Uh, a map. We could get one of these events, but great news, fallout outside has mostly gone. Good news for a wife that is out right now. Not so good for the kids that are sick and dying. All right, Ted is hungry. All right, Ted is hungry. Who else is hungry? Okay, yeah, just hungry. Water tomorrow. Oh, never mind. We only have one water left. I think I'm gonna give it to Ted. Let's face it. He he's the adult. They're both sick. It's it's the only play I have, kids. Sorry. It's see, it's nothing personal. Just that I like to survive personally. And don't yeah. Just you you'll 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 be fine. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Radiation poisoning is not that bad. <laughs> And mother is back and she brought back a bottle of water, I think. Yes, she did. Thank you. Timmy was very sick and there was nothing we could have done to make it better. He understood it and probably decided he's better off far away from such irresponsible parents. Hey, I, I had to drink the water, just saying. When Mary Jane found out she's not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this and she's getting her water one way or another. We're seriously terrified. Okay, Dolores came back. That's great. Uh, our house wasn't the only one to suffer. We got a bottle of water from our house. Or actually from our neighbor. Yeah. Okay, so uh, anything else? No, nothing to do. Actually, Dolores doesn't even, oh, hasn't eaten in a while. Okay, I can give her some food. That's not a problem. And Wheatley likes to sit on the lamb. That's no good. <laughs> a young woman dressed in white knocked on our door today telling us the story of her missing twin brother who is most probably held captive in a bandit camp. He tried to defeat a big bandit leader and his sister fears something might have happened to him. She claims to know that they were good and trustworthy people and believes that we can help her rescue her sibling. If we do, she says it might be the beginning of a solid friendship. Hmm, all right, sure. Let's go ahead and save her sibling. I guess why not? Okay, Ted went crazy, apparently. Let's see what happened. The woman quickly called a group of friends and we set out for what turned out to be a successful mission. Finding the lost twin brother wasn't a problem. He was hanging on top of some antenna next to the fence, trying to escape. In his duel with the bandit leader, he lost a hand, but the group quickly tended to his injuries and he'll be just fine. The siblings thanked us a hundred times and said they would definitely contact us again. Why don't we go with them? Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Doris would really love to eat something. Yes, Dolores, and Ted has gone crazy. Why did he go crazy? Hmm, okay, maybe that was too much for him. What can you do? All right, here's some food, and I don't, I guess we could, yeah, we can prepare an expedition. We can send Ted out. We're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home. They must have some supplies and in our opinion, we need them more. The well-being of our family is the most important thing in the world, right? Oh, oh, nice more choice. You can decide to kill off some elderly for food. I mean, it, it, uh, uh. what can I say? What can I say? I actually got an achievement for that called the dark side. <laughs> and there's a bloody paw print, a handprint up there. Let's see what we got. <sighs> we went, got what we needed and came back. We're sure that group will do just fine. Most probably, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I don't know. We stole playing cards from them. That's not crazy. That's just 
Silly. Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I guess I'm gonna give her some food again. All right, feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. I'm gonna send Ted out, and I'm going to give him the gas mask again. Actually, let's give him the map. You know what, let's try the map. Uh, he might get sick, but maybe he has more success with a mask. That's so cool. All right, Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon, all right. Do you want anything? No, Dolores wants water. I'm gonna give it a day 25. It should be fine. The military is transmitting again. They said their first step is to locate any remaining survivors. A plane will be doing a sweep. Ah, and I got the flashlight. I got a torch. Fantastic. Very good. And Ted is already back? It was fast. Oh, she died. Okay. <laughs> I thought... I seriously thought it would be fine. I seriously thought it would be fine, but... Apparently it wasn't. We're at least sitting on my sound foam over there and screaming his lungs out. You want to come over here, buddy? Come here. No, he doesn't. He just flew to his cage. Good for him. If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. We, we kind of... We kind of had. Everyone was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. Yes, we fixed it in time. Ted has safely returned. The Oh, okay. The padlock in our shelter finally came in handy. We used it to secure our home when leaving for an expedition. Oh. When we came back, we found signs of an un un uh, attempted break-in. That padlock was too damaged to be used again, but at least our safe house is well safe. All right, so you can actually send someone out of the parents, I assume, with a padlock without someone taking away your bunker, or at least as the last person. That's really cool. I assume that is why we didn't lose the game or something. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. Yeah, let's hope that. Only a handful of buildings in our town survived. Uh, we got two bottles of water from the local athletics team that was preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the bon Boondocks. Our map really took a beating during our expedition. It is nearly unusable now. Ted is hungry, Ted got sick, Ted is really tired. All right, Teddy. Uh, do you need anything else? Oh, you're hungry, okay. Well, it's only Ted now, only us and Ted. And he's sick, that's a bummer because I don't have anything to heal him with. I got the box spray, so maybe I get the event to make something, but yeah, the, the bunker really looks gross at this point. Really gross. Really missed the life we had. The space, the sky, the food, more food. Mm. Not gonna happen. Poor Ted is all sick. Well, it's day 30. Mm. Who knows, maybe. If someone knocks at the door, I'm totally going to let him in. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted needs water to survive. Very good. Ah, uh, it's giving water. Here. Ah, uh, wait. Did he say he was hungry? Yeah, Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay, let's give him some soup. We can survive for like 10 more days, I think, here. No problem. And yeah, I can't send him out. I don't have a padlock, so that's a bummer. And let's listen to the radio and see if we get a military broadcast. Ugh, sneezing. Ugh. Yeah, he really could use a shower or something. <laughs> and medicine, and food, and water. Pretty much everything. Ah, <sighs> and, you know, any kind of social interaction. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, still? Well, I guess we're gonna, gonna fix this hunger for now. Um, yeah, we're not gonna prepare an expedition because we can't go out without a padlock, apparently. We were afraid the army wouldn't get back to us, but they eventually did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but ended in a big if. The speaker requested that any survivor group armed with firearms should dispose of them before they get rescued. Sure, let's go ahead and dispose of our rifle. I still got the axe, so if we get attacked by bandits, we still got that. Um, I still don't know if it actually improves our chances of getting rescued if we throw away the rifle, but we're gonna... Well, maybe eventually, no. We decided to follow military orders and got rid of our rifle. We did so with a heavy heart, but that's the price of getting to safety. We gladly pay it. Okay, looks good. Wait, did he, did he want anything? Ted is still sick. Well, yeah, Ted. It's great. It's great that you're sick, but that's just what happens. <laughs> no expedition. And just hoping for a good event that will get us rescued. Ted needs water to survive. Well, water, I have plenty. That is not the issue here. Oh, look at that. A woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel, provided that camels have five legs. Um, I actually could get more water for any of those items, but I have plenty of water. Water is not my problem right now. My problem is more or less food. Only one can of food would keep me fed for quite some time, actually. Uh, he needs a drink right now. I'm gonna give him something tomorrow. And hope for the best. 
Uh, looks good. Okay, we're fine. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that's awaiting us. Um, what from the grave he needs? Yeah, he needs a drink right now. Of course he's gonna get a drink. Um, still no event. Ah, there you go. We were about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discovered it was something much worse. Someone is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. Okay, so can you use the um, padlock apparently to close the door or so. But I'm gonna use my axe to send those cowards running. Let's hope they drop a can of soup. Ooh, that sounded loud. Oh, we lost the axe in the progress. But, <laughs> uh, they left the rifle. Well, good for us. Good for us, we got a rifle back. That's really cool. Do I need anything? No, I don't see any things. Uh, we've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there's still much to be done, like trimming that shrubbery in our yard. That is definitely one of those things that we should do. <coughs> I wonder how long he's going to survive, because he really looks like he's going to die soon. Ted is hungry. Well, Ted, I don't have soup, so life is hard and unfair, I guess. Really unfair. Time to listen to the radio chatter. Yeah. I, I have a hard time believing that we're gonna get rescued here. But who knows? I mean, stranger things have happened. Oh, we got a, what? Oh, some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply plague she lost during a trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have been driven through the street. She must have driven through our street. Uh, we rushed out and got the package before anyone else. Ted is hungry and really thirsty. Well, guess what? It's your lucky day. We got all the things for you. Uh, there was a military announcement on the radio. Those soldiers are nearby ordering a single person to meet them. Oh, I can't do that. Sorry. I'm sick and dying. I wish I could participate in your weird event, but at least Ted is not sick anymore. The risk is not worth it. Yeah. What Ted did today was really absurd. During dinner, he suddenly jumped out of his seat and started boxing the gas mask hanging on the wall. He appeared to trade insults as well as blows with an inanimate object. Apparently, he had mistaken the mask for a bloodthirsty stranger. Well, you destroyed the mask. Good job, Ted. Ted is hungry. Well, Ted, here's some food. We've got plenty now. Uh, being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I do uh, approve of that. All right, what else we got? We can take care of ourselves. Ted, mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. <sighs> send your love, send your thoughts and prayers. Too weak for any expedition. All right, we decided to peek outside. Um, oh, we had to grow in the distance. I think it's Pancake. Yeah, that's the Pancake win. That's really late in the game, but we're gonna shine our flashlight at him and see our little dog friend. Though we can't give him any food, which is a bummer. Um, guess it was a dog. The poor thing seemed too tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. Ted is really thirsty. Uh, what, already? Day 41? Eh, I guess I'm just gonna give him water to be on the safe side here. There's an odd and dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of ammo. She tells us she hunts the wild beast of the waste, and right now she's on a trail of a giant mutated spider. We're pretty sure she lost her mind, and what are you gonna do with that spider lady? Put it in on a leash? She promises that if we help her, she will return the favor another day. I do not have any ammunition, otherwise I probably would have given it to her. That sounds like a fun event. But no, sorry lady, I don't have ammunition. Nothing can be done here. This woman says she hunts mostly for food. Clearly she's an uncivilized savage. Delicious soup is what decent people eat these days. Yes, soup. We were not amused and didn't give her anything. Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to a crappy place. All right, good for Ted. Good for Ted. You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, yeah. Our, our nice neighborhood. I'm surprised I'm still alive. Really surprised. I do need food soon. Ah, uh, this morning has been calm enough. He's doing well. Yeah, still got two cans of soup, so... 10 more days are definitely in. There's dire circumstances we found ourselves in. Supplies are running low, and if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else will. We know for a fact that one of our neighbors... Had a shelter with a broken trap door, and there might be some supplies inside. That does sound good, though. Of course, there's a chance the neighbor and the kids managed to get there in time, but we could really use whatever they have. And we're stronger. Should we pay them a visit? A visit. Yes. That's just... I... I don't, I don't feel good doing this, but... Nah, it's... It's... Me or them. <laughs> also, I just want to run the event. Holy moly! That's a lot of food and soup. We're now richer in some supplies, but for some reason don't feel very good about it. Let's just never mention this whole thing again. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. That should, oh God, look at all the food we have. We're really doing well here. 
Uh, I can send him out though, and the biggest problem is that he's crazy. I guess if Pancake comes back, we can give him soup, but we still don't have a med kit unless we get one with the event. We're not going to round like we're not going to run around like Knights of the Round Table, following some madman scribbles on the wall. The world is crazy enough as it is. Ted is hungry. Well, Ted, here's some food. We got plenty. Also, I'm gonna give him water just to get him on the proper schedule again. Day 45. Um, yeah, I, it's no padlock, can't send anyone. We're about to take a cautious peek outside when a furry beast jump on us. The dog, let's give him soup. Pancake. That's the, the least I can do. He's probably going to die because I can't heal his wound later on, but... Ah, well. Ted tries to hide it, but obviously he has a lot of issues. Hmm. He has some conversations with a sock puppet. They're plotting against us. Enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface, look for additional supplies. I I can't I I can't game. Did I Did I prepare for an expedition? Apparently I did. Didn't know. Day 47! Ted is still alive for whatever ungodly reason. Ted tries to hide it, but it's obvious he has a lot of issues. He has lengthy conversation with a sock puppet still. The more we know about what's going on site, the better for us. Let's gather around the radio and see if we can tune into a station. Ah, okay. Maybe we get an event where we can use our playing cards or anything to get the military notice us. That'd be great. <sighs> nothing, nothing, and nothing. Damn it. All right, where's Water when Ted needs it? Ah, eh, you're not gonna get that. The army started broadcasting again. They're requesting a representative from all survivor groups to meet them. I can't. Ted is crazy and probably tired. That's the biggest issue. That is probably the event that keeps me from getting into... Uh, yeah. Tired, fatigued, crazy, and dehydrated. Well, let's... You know what? Let's give him food and water. For a while. Extra. Like like an extra potion. And see if he recovers a little bit. We've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. He should have been far from where the bombs fell. Uh, yeah, let's see. The book might help, help us with uh, getting normal thoughts. He looks... Yep, he looks... Yeah. He's just fatigued, but he's not tired anymore. That's nice. Ted has rested. Very good. Now we can send him actually on an expedition like that. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna give him water and food again. Bring it on day 50 schedule. And uh, we're not going to prepare him for an expedition. If we send him out, we would lose the game. And that would be a bummer. What just happened? <laughs> I gave you food. What happened? Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. It seems that today, following the advice of his sock puppet, he left the bunker and went in an unknown direction, never to be seen again. We hope Ted and the cruel puppet that took him away from us will still have lots of fun together. Surviving the apocalypse is not an easy task, we can tell you that much. We survived for 51 days, which is an awesome number. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This was the Suitcase DLC. As you can hear, there's different music and a few different events, so that's kind of nice. And on day 51, we kind of perished, so that's a bummer. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye!